I was going to watch something else, but yesterday Martha Stewart's documentary popped up on Netflix and I, I'm like, I love Martha Stewart. I have to watch this. So I watched an hour of the two hours and something struck me that I've been thinking about. It struck me even more that I've been thinking about for a while now. And that is, there is so much emphasis. There's people are have it ingrained so deeply in them now for as short a period as it has been uh the the case but they have it so deeply ingrained into them now gen z gen z especially i feel like and millennials too but i don't know anyway that you have to buy a house and have a career, have a career, have a career, not just have a job, but have a career. And having that career probably involves getting a degree and God forbid, like having to get the right degree at the right school. That's even, even crazier. And people, I know Emma Chamberlain is a good example at 15, 16, whatever it was. And, and she was telling her dad, I have to get the right AP scores to get it. And, and her dad goes, for what? And she's, and she, and she goes, I don't know. I don't know. I just need them. And it, watching the Martha Stewart documentary. Hey everyone, this is cast content. Thank you so much for watching. Sorry. I'd love it if you give this video a like and a subscribe. And I'm saying it in a weird way, but that's just because I forgot to introduce myself. But I really would like it if you would like and subscribe. But um, yeah, seeing Martha Stewart really brought it home. I mean, I feel like she's a born entrepreneur. You know, there's no getting away from that. And you can see everywhere she went, she was successful. She was successful as a stockbroker. She was just successful, you know, in what she does now as a businesswoman. She was successful in, she built her homes. I mean, she, she bought, I didn't know that she bought houses that almost needed to be gutted and and she gutted them and she planted these massive gardens and like thousands of trees on her property like I never stopped to think about it she did all that I mean obviously there are teams of people and but she did a lot of this stuff with her hands like it's just incredible because she didn't live in a time where women and men, sorry, I mean, had to get a career with like so many baby boomers. I, I remember listening to Steve Martin talk about how he talks to kids today about growing in their craft, you know, as musicians, as in comedy, at whatever they're doing. And the first thing that they say to him is, oh, we have to get a publicist and we have to get the right marketing team and we have to get the right camera equipment we have to and same with um candace candace neistat the same thing when she started her business and everyone was saying to her you have to get the right marketing team you have to get and she goes i just need some nice stationery and she spent something like ten thousand dollars on nice stationery and then i'm just gonna make friends with people and i'm gonna build my business like i don't need all this stuff that's not how you build a business and I think that it's so deeply ingrained that we have to spend all of our life's energy on buying a house that we can't afford a lot of the times in a lot of these big cities that people want to live in they're never going to be affordable you know I, I don't think that we should want to buy these houses because you're literally going to spend all the money of your entire life buying the house and then once the house is paid off you're not going to stop paying for it. You're going to still spend probably at least $2,000 a month in property taxes and um, what's it called? Utilities and stuff. Sorry. You're not going to stop paying for it. You're not going to hit that 25, 30 years and then be home free. You're still going to have to pay a lot of money for that house. So is it really worthwhile to buy that house and spend all of your life's time and energy on buying that house. People didn't have to do that, you know, 50 years ago because homes 
were affordable for a much greater number of people. And then people spend all this time and energy and money in the US, like the money you have to spend on getting your degree. Like no wonder people are so mad. You're spending 100, 150, 200K on some basic bachelor's degree. Here we call it bachelor's. There are two years is bachelorette and four years is bachelor's, right? And then you get a job that, you know, doesn't pay any money or you can't get a job in that field at all or whatever the case may be. And it's like, why did you do that? I know why, because people have told you to do that because it's so deeply ingrained. But I really think that we need to rewire. We need to rewire. Martha Stewart did not go out in the world. She got married at 19. She sounds like she didn't like being married. I mean, kind like she didn't like, oh, she didn't like having a kid, but that's what everyone was doing. And so she really kind of tried to make her apartment nice. And then they bought a house and then she, she, that was basically gutted and she built that and her thinking because it wasn't that way at the time was not on getting the right degree getting the right career and then she was a stockbroker and I don't remember the part of the story how she fell in to that like she did go she did go to school and she did become that but she just kind of became things and where she found herself in life was where she built things you know because she wasn't tied to that belief system that again I'm repeating myself I'm sorry is so deeply ingrained now that we have to do things a certain way and it's fine I mean if you want to get the degree and you want to get the certain job and you want to have I mean I know people that's you know what they did they got the degree and they have the house and they have the kids and they have the marriage and they have that life and I'm and and I'm glad that I didn't take that route I did I started to I said I have to get my degree I have to go to college but then I only did two years because two years in I thought something was fighting at me and I have to get out of it and I have to go a different route and I found the different route but I, I think that maybe kids should maybe kids should get the degree you know and when they're done they'll only be 22 but maybe when they're 22 they should just you know, bartend or find some way to take time off in a way. You still have to work and pay the student loan back and all that stuff, but just kind of not work to get into the degree right away and figure out if that's really what you want to do. Figure out if you want to build a different life, if you want that job at all, or maybe you actually want to be an entrepreneur. Maybe you actually want, I mean, if you could get some house that you essentially needed to gut and build up that house and film it and put it on YouTube and that was your thing and then you could you know write a book off that I know these things are difficult to do and I know that that's how people get out of kind of following their dreams now because they tell themselves these things are difficult to do they are but just because something is difficult doesn't mean that you shouldn't maybe allow yourself to go down a different path. Funky is a pasta restaurant in, I think it's in Beverly Hills. And I was watching that show yesterday too. And um, I think I think the man's name is Trattoria. I'm not sure of his name, but the, the restaurant's called Funky and it's pasta. And it was really neat because he said he chose making pasta and he chooses kind of old styles of pasta like the real authentic old school that you make uh, pasta and certain pasta shapes I have to look into it more to get the names and stuff and he said he chose to do it because it was hard because it was hard because it's hard on your body it's hard to be making you know pasta physically all day it's a hard thing to get into you know where he lives in in LA, I mean, everyone's, you know, gluten-free and anti-pasta, so that's hard too. And, and kind of maybe, I don't know, I'm just guessing like using the pasta shapes that people don't use anymore is difficult to sell 
But I mean, that was his thing. He made that his own rather than just going out and, and, and getting a job. And he built this beautiful thing. Anyway, I just wanted to put that out there today because I mean, I've made several videos on this now. I think this is at least my third video on this subject, but I really feel like that is a way that we can help ourselves going forward as a society in societies. Just, just take the time, you know, don't go out and do something different because you see this video or someone else tells you to or but just take the time like for me it was COVID I had time before that to really it started brewing but COVID was really this opportunity because I didn't work through COVID really it just YouTube and I really had that time to to dream and to do this and do it let it build and you know I mean that that time was just life changing for me. Life, it was growth, it was everything. I can't imagine not having had that time. And so give yourself that time if you spend maybe an hour, you know, on a Sunday, an hour on a Saturday, an hour on a Sunday. You know, if that's all you have, that's all you can find or like I get up earlier in the morning than I have to, to kind of sit and have quiet and read and have tea. Maybe you can do that and just see if maybe there's something different that you want to do or that you want to try. Try it on the weekends when you have time or if you work a different schedule, try it, you know, your off times, whatever the case may be. Because I think, yeah, again, going forward, we need to get back to being societies that achieve and, and, and do things, do things different, build their own things, rather than just following what was maybe our parents' best intentions, but doesn't always work. Getting a degree, getting the right degree, going to the right college, getting the right job, getting the house, the right house, it doesn't work for everybody. In some cases, you know, having kids, it doesn't work for everybody and doing things that you're supposed to do, following your own path. Because there's a lot of, you know, people younger, they really seem bitter. They really seem bitter and heartbroken and lied to and, and misled. And I don't think that's obviously good for us going forward so that's just my sending you out this idea if you're meant to see it you wanted to see it and uh, I will see you in the next video everyone my cat is meowing at me so I have to go now <laughs> thank you I will see you in the next video this is cast contents I'd love it if you would like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time